a colossal aircraft capable of soaring through the skies and skimming across water. The VVA-14 was designed during the Cold War to outsmart enemy submarines. This extraordinary machine represents a fascinating blend of ambition and innovation. Could this have been the ultimate game changer in military aviation? The visionary behind the design. Let's start with the fascinating life of Robert Gartini, a true pioneer in aviation. Born in 1897 in Fiume, now Rijeka, Croatia, Bartini was not just an engineer. He was a visionary whose innovative spirit would reshape aircraft design forever. After relocating to the Soviet Union in the 1920s, he quickly became a leading figure in aviation engineering. Think about being so ahead of your time that your designs still influence modern aircraft. Bartini wasn't merely building planes, he was crafting solutions to complex aviation challenges. He earned the nickname Red Baron for his groundbreaking work on amphibious and ground effect vehicles. His designs were characterized by adaptability and efficiency, reflecting his belief that aircraft should serve multiple purposes, especially in military applications. Even after facing significant challenges, including imprisonment during World War II, Bartini remained dedicated to his craft. His most ambitious project, the VVA-14, emerged from the urgent need for anti-submarine capabilities during the Cold War. This aircraft was not just a technical achievement, it was a testament to Bartini's creativity and resilience. The VVA-14 stands as a symbol of Bartini's genius, a groundbreaking design that pushed the boundaries of what aircraft could achieve. His legacy continues to inspire engineers and aviation enthusiasts, proving that visionary thinking can lead to remarkable advancements in technology. The Cold War Catalyst VVA-14 was born during a critical period in history, the Cold War, in the 1970s. Global tensions reached an all-time high as the United States and the Soviet Union engaged in an arms race that extended into every aspect of military technology. The development of Polaris missile submarines by the U.S. posed a significant threat to Soviet security, prompting a desperate need for innovative military solutions in this high-stakes environment. Military leaders turned to Robert Bartini and his groundbreaking ideas. They required an aircraft capable of extensive maritime patrols and effective anti-submarine warfare. Enter the VVA-14, a revolutionary amphibious aircraft designed to operate on land and water, making it an ideal asset for naval operations. Think of having an aircraft that could take off from a runway or skim across ocean waves. How incredible is that? This flexibility proved crucial for military operations, allowing rapid deployment in diverse environments. The VVA-14's design aimed to address specific threats posed by enemy submarines while also providing reconnaissance capabilities. The urgency of the Cold War drove innovation like never before. VVA-14 became a symbol of Soviet ingenuity during this era, reflecting how necessity can lead to extraordinary advancements in aviation technology. Its development highlights how geopolitical tensions can fuel groundbreaking engineering efforts that reshape military capabilities and strategies. Unconventional Design Features the VVA-14 is celebrated for its unconventional design features that set it apart from traditional aircraft. First up is its catamaran-like fuselage. This unique structure enhances stability during takeoff and landing on water while providing a robust platform for flight operations on land. One of the most striking aspects of the VVA-14 is its engine configuration. A total of 14 engines. Eight engines are dedicated to vertical lift allowing for impressive takeoff capabilities, while six engines are used for horizontal flight, enabling high-speed travel across vast distances. This powerful setup provides an incredible lift and enhances maneuverability. Aerodynamics played a crucial role in Bartini's design philosophy. The tandem wing configuration reduces drag significantly compared to conventional designs, allowing the VVA-14 to achieve faster speeds and better fuel efficiency. Essential factors for any military aircraft. These unconventional features reflect Bartini's innovative spirit and willingness to challenge existing norms in aviation design. 
The VVA-14 was not merely an experimental aircraft. It represented a bold statement about what could be achieved when creativity meets engineering excellence. This groundbreaking approach laid the groundwork for future developments in both military and civilian aviation. Amphibious Marvel One of the most exciting aspects of VVA-14 is its remarkable amphibious capabilities. Designed to operate seamlessly on land and water, this aircraft redefined versatility in military aviation. Think of an aircraft that can take off from a runway or skim across ocean waves. This adaptability makes it an invaluable asset for various missions. The VVA-14 featured retractable landing gear, allowing it to transition effortlessly between different environments, whether launching from coastal bases or landing on water surfaces. This aircraft could perform operations without needing specialized infrastructure or facilities. This amphibious nature provided significant operational flexibility for military forces. VVA-14 could patrol vast maritime areas while remaining ready to engage in land-based missions when necessary. It effectively combined two modes of operation into one platform, like having two tools in one. Think of being part of a mission where your aircraft can gather intelligence over hostile waters and then return safely to land while adapting to changing conditions. The amphibious capabilities of the VVA-14 showcased how creative engineering could meet complex military needs effectively. Technical Specifications and Performance Diving into the technical specifications and performance metrics reveals what makes the VVA-14 such an extraordinary aircraft. With a maximum takeoff weight of approximately 100 tons, this amphibious craft was engineered for substantial payload capacities while maintaining agility during flight operations. Powered by 14 engines, 8 dedicated to vertical lift, and 6 for horizontal flight, the VVA-14 achieved impressive performance metrics. It could reach speeds exceeding 400 km per hour during horizontal flight while maintaining stability thanks to its tandem wing configuration. In terms of operational range, this aircraft was designed for long-distance missions over water, making it suitable for extensive patrols against submarine threats. Its ability to carry anti-submarine weapons further solidified its role as a critical asset during Cold War tensions. What makes all this even more fascinating is how these specifications highlight Bartini's innovative approach to aviation design. Although the VVA-14 never entered mass production or active service, its technical achievements continue to influence modern aerospace engineering today. This blend of creativity and engineering prowess pushed aviation into new territories, showcasing how visionary ideas can lead to groundbreaking advancements that shape future technologies. The Development Journey the journey of the VVA-14 is a captivating tale of ambition and innovation. It all began in 1970 when Robert Bartini, a visionary aircraft designer, teamed up with the Bariev Design Bureau to create an amphibious aircraft that could operate on land and water. The goal is to develop a revolutionary vehicle capable of vertical takeoff and landing while excelling in anti-submarine warfare. Can you think of the excitement surrounding this project? By 1972, construction of the prototype was underway, and it was a monumental task. Engineers faced numerous challenges, including selecting the right engines and ensuring the aircraft could handle diverse environments. Finally, on September 4, 1972, the VVA-14 took to the skies for its first flight. Initial tests showed promise, but the aircraft was not without its hurdles. As testing progressed, Engineers discovered that the original engines were unsuitable for achieving optimal performance. This setback forced them to modify key features, particularly those related to vertical takeoff capabilities. By 1974, just four years after its inception, the project began to lose momentum due to limited resources and technical complexities. Flight Testing and Trials the flight testing phase of VVA-14 was nothing short of thrilling. After its inaugural flight on September 4, 1972, Pilot Yu tested. M. Kupriyanov took the controls and put this amphibious marvel through its paces. The initial flights revealed impressive handling and maneuverability, which had everyone buzzing with excitement. Over the next few years, 
VVA-14 completed more than 107 flights, accumulating 103 hours in the air. However, it wasn't all smooth sailing. During testing, engineers faced challenges when it came to water operations. The aircraft was fitted with inflatable pontoons for water landings, but these tests revealed operational issues that needed addressing. Even with some setbacks, insights from test pilots proved invaluable. They noted that while the VVA-14 lacked certain features due to engine limitations, it excelled in low-altitude flight using ground effect technique that could have revolutionized amphibious operations. The combination of successes and failures during this phase played a pivotal role in shaping the future of the project. The flight tests highlighted both the potential and limitations of this ambitious design, leaving a lasting impression on those involved in its development. The aircraft that never was. The story of VVA-14 is also one of unrealized potential and missed opportunities. Think of its innovative design and promising capabilities. Several factors led to the project's cancellation in 1976. One significant reason was Robert Bartini's passing in 1974. His departure left a void in leadership and vision that proved difficult for the project to overcome. Technical challenges plagued VVA-14 throughout its development as well. The original engines planned for use were found unsuitable for achieving the desired performance levels. This limitation forced engineers to abandon key features such as vertical takeoff capabilities. One of Bartini's original goals for this amphibious marvel, as testing continued without significant progress or funding support, interest dwindled among military leaders who had initially championed the project. The lack of clear operational benefits compared to existing aircraft further diminished its appeal. By 1976, only two prototypes had been built, with one surviving today in a dilapidated state at a museum in Moscow. The VVA-14 never entered active service or fulfilled its intended role as an anti-submarine platform. Legacy and Impact on Aviation the legacy of the VVA-14 extends beyond its physical presence. It represents an important chapter in aviation history that continues to inspire future designs. Although it never entered active service or achieved widespread recognition during its time, this unique amphibious aircraft showcased innovative engineering concepts that have influenced modern aviation. Bartini's vision for an amphibious vehicle capable of vertical takeoff laid the groundwork for future developments in both military and civilian aviation sectors. Combining water and air operations remains relevant today as engineers explore multi-role aircraft capable of performing diverse missions. Currently, one surviving prototype is displayed at the Central Air Force Museum in Moscow. However, it suffers from neglect and damage over time. This sad state reflects how ambitious projects can fade into obscurity even with their potential impact on aviation technology. Historians and aviation enthusiasts often look back at the VVA-14 as an example of what could have been. A symbol of innovation stifled by technical challenges and changing priorities within military aviation. Its story serves as a reminder that while not every groundbreaking idea comes to fruition, it can still inspire future generations to push boundaries and explore new frontiers in aerospace engineering. What do you think about the VVA-14's design? Do you believe it could have changed the landscape of military aviation if it had gone into active service? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more amazing content. Thanks for watching.